Welcome to a new segment with Alex and Rashi, Warming Apple Porridge Crumble. How does that sound? It tastes good too. Please subscribe and enjoy. All right, welcome today to Rashi's Kitchen, where she's going to bring a apple crumble porridge breakfast. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. And, and it's a fantastic uh, base product for your good breakfast to start the day and something Rashi does on a regular basis. So I'm going to hand over to the maestro. Yeah, so we are making a kind of porridge base with a little bit of topping and it's based on some Ayurvedic philosophy. Those of you familiar with Ayurvedic, it's the science behind your eating. It's really good in Australia, we're in winter, so it's a really good warming recipe um, at this time of year, but you can have it at any time, it doesn't have to be cold. Um, so yeah, I've just got all the ingredients here. So let's um, let's go through the ingredients. Rashi will just point to those things as she's uh, calling it out. Um, so we've got half a cup of oats. I've used the quick oats. You can use the normal rolled oats. They might just take a bit longer to cook. I've got half a cup of coconut milk. You can replace that with any milk, dairy or plant-based. Three quarters of a cup of water. So with the liquid, um, I like my porridge a little bit gloopy and thick. A bit soggy type like, sort of. Yeah, quite dense. But if you like yours more runny, then you just increase your liquid, whether that's milk or water. I've got a banana. Again, I've got um, half a banana. But if you like yours a little bit sweeter, you can add more banana. And also the banana makes it nice and creamy. Mm, nature's nana butter. Yeah, that's right. And then I've just got spices as you need to add. I've got nutmeg, I've got cinnamon. You can add cardamom, which I've run out of, but I do like to add cardamom and also an apple as well, which needs to be diced. They're the main ingredients for the porridge. The topping is some flaxseed meal, some coconut sugar. I like coconut sugar because I don't use refined sugar. I like the taste of coconut sugar and it makes it a little bit crunchy. You can use brown sugar as well. And I have some coconut oil. And with the toppings, it doesn't really need any toppings, but if you want to just bulk out the dish and add a few more nutrients, there's chia seeds, nuts, almond butter, raisins, but you can add fresh fruit or um, stewed berries if you want to so whatever you want to add it you can the base is as is and then you can add your toppings afterwards so Rash she has done a lot of measuring with this um, some of the kids have helped getting it already but I know when she does her own she just throws <laughs> it in um, so it's yeah. not really that measured so once you get the gist of how it works you can just throw it into a pan and away you go yeah, it's just a rough guideline um, and you can yeah add what you like according to taste. So we might get started. Okay, okay so we're back. Rash, what have you done? We just stopped filming just for a tick to get things ready. So what have you done there? We've chopped the apple. So just diced roughly, it doesn't have to be fancy. And Alex smashed the banana. Um, again, add more banana if you like yours a little bit sweeter. Yeah, but you've done a whole apple there and a whole banana, which you wouldn't normally do. But this is going to, you know, you probably only do half of one or? I probably, yeah, I probably only do half of an apple and half of a banana as well. Yeah, so it's um, gone a bit bigger because... Because it's for you. I'm going to eat it after. So first off, you're just going to add your water... And whatever milk so you're using. The, pan, the pan's on high. It is to start with, and then we'll drop it down to low. So that's the water and the milk. And I might add a bit more, just see how it goes as it thickens. And then the oats. If you're actually, can I just say that if you're actually gluten free, you can actually make this with quinoa as well. Okay. And pretty much the same. You might need to add a bit more liquid. And then you're just stirring it around. So if you like your apple crunchy, add it a bit later. But I like mine a little bit softer. So I'm going to add it now. And you've left 
the skin on because there's good nutrients in that as well. Yeah. Some prefer to peel the skin, they don't like it. And then I'm going to add my spices now too, but again, you can add it whenever. So I like quite a bit of cinnamon, so I'm adding a big teaspoon. As you see, it starts to come to the boil fairly quickly. So I'm just going to give it a stir as it heats up. I think I'm just going to stick with cinnamon because Alex is having this and I'm not sure how he feels about nutmeg. How do you feel about nutmeg? Now I'm just going to turn the heat down a little bit. And just let it come to a little bit of a simmer. And then just let it heat while we make the other stuff. So that I don't know. Alex, can you smell that? I can. It's smelling fantastic. So you can turn the heat, um, depending on what kind of stove top you've got, just turn the heat down so as you can see, I think you can see that in camera, it's just, probably see the steam as well. But it's just kind of bubbling. And at this stage, if you feel like you need to add a bit more liquid, you can. So I'm going to make the topping now. So I've got my coconut oil, my flaxseed and my coconut sugar. Unlike refined sugar, the coconut sugar doesn't um, give you that hit. But I actually like it because I like the taste. So we're just going to add it all together. That's a flaxseed. That's a really good source of omega-3, I think it is. And then the coconut sugar as well. And then you're just going to kind of mix it all together until it starts to come together. And this is going to be like your crunchy topping. Whilst I'm still mixing that, I'm going to add the banana in now. And that's going to be, it makes it creamy, but it also adds the sweetness to it as well. So that's pretty much it. You can see that the oats have absorbed all that liquid and the apples are just kind of semi-cooked. You can cook them for longer if you'd like. So I would probably only eat about half of that. But and then I'm just going to sprinkle over the topping, that crunchy topping. And it will kind of melt into the porridge because the porridge is still quite warm. And then you can add whatever toppings. I've got chia seeds here. You can add, I'll just show you, but you don't have to add anything. I often don't add anything, but you can add a sprinkle of chia seeds. You can add chia seeds. I've just got some chopped nuts as well, some raisins. These are just all adding a little bit of bulk to it. You can add some chopped fruit and sometimes I really love almond butter. I don't know if Alex loves it but he's going to have it. So just a good and this is just roasted almonds. There's no other ingredients in this one. And just a nice, I can never do the drizzle. You know how they drizzle. So you always get a big lump there. But anyway, you get the idea. And there it is. Apple porridge crumble. And it's really nice, hearty breakfast. The oats just give you that sustained energy. And then you've got your flax meal with the omega-3s, chia seeds if you add it, and um, it's all really good healthy stuff. Thank you once again for joining Alex and Rashi here on our YouTube channel. It's a pleasure to bring you a different segment. If you've enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and like, comments if you need to have any more information. Once again, thanks and we'll see you again soon. Please subscribe.